Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, and I listened to a podcast with Dan Lenny uh, this past weekend, and he was talking about how maybe film school wasn't really that necessary, but you really do need some structure to your learning. So this past weekend, my wife and kids were out of town, which is kind of rare, so I had the whole weekend to myself and said, oh, I want to work on a project. And instead of just like lily-nilly, you know, not working on anything because I didn't know what to do. I wanted to have some structure and say, okay, these are the three things I wanted to work on. And those three things were thinking outside the box, fast and slow motion, and blending modes. I'm a big fan of uh, Patrick Moreau from Still Motion. I think I've listened to every podcast he's ever done. And one of the things he talks about a lot is thinking outside the box, kind of like uh, if there's 15 guys, uh, shooting video on a particular event he wants to get the shots nobody else is thinking about so i wanted to have that kind of exercise of going to a place like bear lake that is being photographed by thousands of people every day in the summer and get shots nobody else is thinking about i wanted to practice fast and slow motion all these shots that you see of the clouds moving were not done with the time lapse they were actually just done filming several minutes and then taking the rate stretch tool in Premiere and just squashing it down just to within a few seconds. And it works surprisingly smooth, really well. I mean, I know Philip Bloom did a test between the two uh, using the San Francisco Bridge a long time ago and he showed how, you know, using stills in the time lapse was far superior. But for me, I was wanting to see how well, I never really tried it, so I wanted to see how well it would work in the daylight and it actually worked pretty well. I ran across a video by Elliot Sellers called Once Again on Vimeo, and I really liked it. You definitely check it out. It's a really cool video. It's kind of a test he did, but it came out really cool, and it's been watched like half a million times. Definitely check it out. But I wanted to try out these different blending mode techniques that he used. Um, and what I came up with was well, I tried all of the blending modes. The screen worked really well. Um, but also just not even using blending mode sometimes and using the, you know, the clean plate and then just lowering the opacity on the top image of the, in the timeline. That seemed to work out pretty well too. I told Jake Nielsen I was heading up to go shoot and see if he wanted to come out and help me um, and he was up for it and he got a campsite. So then I got a campsite pretty close to Bear Lake and we went up there and it was really cold at night. It got down to like 37. Um, even though my sleeping bag was really nice and warm, I didn't get much sleep that night and listen to how tired I was in the morning. Listen to, to hear what I say the temperature is. Damn, it was cold last night. 63 degrees. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning and the sun is just coming up. And uh, it's like we're going to have a beautiful morning. So we were sitting around the campfire that night, um, and it was around 11.30 or so, and I said, let's go up to Bear Lake. Let's go up there around midnight and check out the stars. It was a full moon and try some uh, photographs. So we went up there, and here are a few photographs we took. I also got up at 6 o'clock in the morning and got up there before sunrise, and there was a couple other photographers there, but I had the lake pretty much all to myself, and uh, it was pretty cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.